Hey guys, look who I have! Hello! He, he hasn't been in my channel in so long. I know, we've been adulting. Adulting. Um, we l literally, literally just got back from Spooky Empire and I was gonna film a um, short little haul to put on Insta, but it was like, just get your camera. Duh. Right. So I figured we could show you everything we got, which was a lot. Yeah, well, I think we got uh, more stuff um, than the Spookella. I think Spookella was so. more to meet people. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's basically like a spooky convention if you've been to Megacon or that. We go every year. I think that's what I look forward to. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I get very excited when I get to do any conventions. This is your Super Bowl. Yeah, this <laughs> is my Disney. Do you want to then start with the photos that we met and talk about that and then I can show the stuff? Yeah, you can, you can talk about the who we met. Okay. You, you that, yeah. Um. So basically what we did when we got there we got there right at 11 which is when the doors opened and we ended up going towards the back of the convention center the wyndham hotel and we saw that our two photo ops which was with the twilight trio and Catherine newton were until later on in the afternoon so we then did some shopping in the vendor room itself checked out the tattoo vendor yeah, room the as tattoo well room, yeah. and then um, we walked over to Starbucks, had a light bite, went to the Twilight Trio Q&A panel, which, which was, was really fun. Yeah, I'm glad we did that. Yeah. Uh, we were thinking about not do, doing it, but we looked at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, since it was a smaller convention, we got, basically, we checked every booth, I thought. Yeah. I mean, we were pretty much, like, just looking forward to meet them and see what else we could do. So I thought it was yeah. nice that we did that. I enjoyed that a lot. And at Spook Gala, right, we went to the Stranger Things panel. So we got to hear... Uh, Megacon. Oh, that was Megacon. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got to hear Grace, which is Chrissy. Gaten, who is... Uh, what is his character name? Dustin? Dustin oh, yeah, my gosh. I was going to say. He's still um, with the D. It's going to say David. No, say. And Finn, who is Mike, yeah. um, talk about series. So that's really... It's just really cool to get to see them live rather than just watching interviews on youtube mm -hmm. you know so then we went to the panel went right back to the photo spot area to get our pictures and then we went to the room to have them sign it which is what we've been doing since Spookala. yeah i um, think you came up with that idea so i think it's yeah. great you know, that meet them you meet them take the picture and then have them sign it because you know people bring other items which i think it's okay but mm -hmm. it's cool they could just sign it they definitely are separate prices though so the photo the professional photo experience takes place separately from like their table you can get a selfie with them at their table um and that's which just totally when, separate yeah which yeah we've done before um so we opted for sorry the glare the professional photo so there's ashley green jackson rathbone and peter Fasignel, yeah. Yeah. So he's mean, italian he's so italian i'm not saying it correctly um but we got the picture and then we had each of them sign it which is super cool yeah, now we gotta find cool frames they're gonna gotta find a twilight I frame no and then we had Catherine newton so she is our probably favorite scream queen right now i know you love melissa barrera and i love her as well but yeah, she I was in her, yeah. lisa frankenstein abigail Freaky, abigail um so my gosh she is a tall thin little Thin yeah. little one. What I like about this too is that they were very nice and they were themselves. Yeah. Uh, so it was nice to meet them and spend time. Just talk, you know, talk like how their day is going. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they're humans and they might be traveling a lot. So, yeah. yeah. And then when you take a picture, just if I ask, it's a quick. You got 30 seconds. Yes. So just say, you know. Yeah. You this experience. One, two sentences. <laughs> yeah. When you're getting a professional photo with them, exactly like Abel said, it is literally like 30 seconds. They line everybody up. You drop your stuff outside of the photo area. You walk in, say hello, take your photo, and leave. You're out. So that's why we like also then separately going to their booth and having them sign because then you have quite a bit more time to have a conversation with them. Um, and then it's fun to have your photo signed. They do have on their table professional photos, um, either from photo shoots or movie stills or whatever that you can purchase there and have them sign those instead. But I like having them sign our picture. So we've been kind of opting for that. Collecting, yeah. Have you shown yeah. the other ones we have too? Um, so, no. Behind me right here, there's mm -hmm. a ladder. And we have our Stranger Things, our Melissa Barrera, our um, Eduardo. Up. You want to grab them? Yeah. And our Stranger Things ones. I think we're all there. Yeah, and the then, one that we did not sign was the Stranger Things. That's the yeah. one. Oh, wait. I do have the Black Ranger, so bring that. And Black well. Ranger. Um, 
So then actually I'll just wait a second and we'll show you those. Even though those weren't from this one, they are from other cons, just so you can see. How nerdy we are. How we nerdy we are. <laughs> so what very first started this, oh, I'm so sorry, honey, I, I think it hit you, okay. um, was the Black Ranger. Abel met Walter Emmanuel Jones and we just got like a separate photo with him and then he signed and we got the glare on these. I'm so sorry, guys, because yeah. we're right in the sun. Um, so he signed, this is what I was talking about, where they have professional photos. So this, um, this was just at his table, and he signed it for Abel. And then when we went a second time, we went with our friend Sean. This is when we met Finn and Gayton, and we just got the photo. And then that's when we... always go back and take this and have them sign it. But yeah. Sean, our friend here, is the one that, you know, started <laughs> yeah. the trend. He was like, hey, we should start doing this. Um, he's been... You know, we always invite him to go to cons and we try to invite everyone else, but usually he's the one that's going to tag along. Yeah, we love we love Sean. Um, and then this was Eduardo. This is where we started then them signing the actual photo that we took. So this is Eduardo, and we met Melissa on that same day. So we have quite the collection. We do. See it's, if we get to start framing them. It's uh, accumulated. I mean, this is a lot of this is a lot of money. For your in separate yeah. photos and signatures on top. Yeah, but, we talked about that, but I but, think it's cool meeting them yeah. and having something and, you know, seeing them on the big screen. I think that was pretty cool or a show. Mm -hmm. So I think it's worth it if you're, if you're into that, mm -hmm. um, besides collecting art and stuff like that. I think it's yeah. nice, you know, whatever you're into. Well, I was just going to say, I think it not only is like a merchandise item or like something to physically have, but it's an experience. It's a memory where we yeah. constantly talk about you know, meeting, you know, you meeting Melissa and talking to Melissa in Spanish about her, how, how, she's you, doing, how, how much she doing, appreciates yeah. the Mexican representation. And I don't know. I just think it's a really good experience in addition to having a physical souvenir. Um, so I've, I've really been enjoying it. I'm not going to do this in any particular order because this is all just thrown yeah. in here. Um, but one of, and if I can have the shop name, like the, the card, card of yeah. yeah the card of the shop i'll show that too it's actually it's on it yeah so um abel found these for me and i'm so excited because he thinks that there is potential that there's going to be mm -hmm. a yeah. creature house at halloween horror nights this year yeah we saw a you know there was that on the tribute store right we saw that there were there we had the merch and creature was there so i'm assuming to just me that hey they might have something there i'm excited um, and we, you guys know, I don't do the houses, but I love to do the tours. Um, so I would love to see the house. And then I also got these little bobby pins that look like the little cookies, a ghost, a bat, and a pumpkin. Which you make though. So I, that's why I wanted you to get them. Yeah, I love them. And this one was called the Nocturnal Craft. And I turned it over so you guys could scan that QR code if you were curious and wanted to see their shop. Um, this one I don't have a bag for. She says she put her card in there though. Okay, so... I think I'm like kind of in love with Scooby Doo by proxy of our friend Amber. She yeah, is Amber a Scooby Doo fanatic, die yeah. hard. So I saw this, and actually at another con we got her a wreath because yeah, she just bought a home. The one previously, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we got her Scooby Doo wreath, and then I saw this and immediately thought of her. And then I was being selfish and wanted to get it for myself because I think it's really cute. Um, but I just showed you guys for the expo that we went to for the Princess Half Marathon in February. Lug Life is doing these little water bottle holders. So I got one, but I really liked, I mean, it's basically literally the same design, um, but I really liked the pattern of this one because it has Scooby, obviously, and the Mystery Machine, but then it's got some of the villains of the show, which I think are really fun. Yeah. The um, masking, right? The, and I like, I think we like supporting local business yeah. or you know, business from different states that come to these cons. So, you know, it's nice to support it as you need. Stuff that you're not going to find on Amazon, I think. Right. So you have a little zip pocket in the front that you can put cards and then a slip here for your phone. Do you have your phone on you, hon? I was just going to see if a phone would fit because I didn't even know if it would fit. Oh, yeah, literally. Literally perfect for your phone. Oh, my gosh. That's so good. And then it's Arnie. And then here's Arnie, so you're probably going to see him. But nice adjustable strap. Um, and then this is the brand, which is, or not brand, the small shop is Lair of Fandom. And she had fanny packs and tote bags. So that's the first one. Here's Arnold. Hi, babies. Where they go? All right. Next one. Black bag. 
Oh, okay. So you want to talk about this one, hon? Because this is the bundle we Oh, bought. yeah, it was the icons. We met a, um, if you're a Horror Nights fan, you know who they are, uh, especially here in uh, Florida. I know they have Horror Nights in you know, California, but this icons, you know, you know. That was really cool. Some of the drawings, um, some, some of the icons, which they've been, you know, previously before in houses or scare zones. Uh, but I thought they had Jack and all the other friends. Um, Chance. Who's? I think it was a collector. The director. director collector as well. I don't know who and that then, is. That's uh, the oh grandma. No, that's yeah, the, I was called the grandma. The director. Yeah, the director's right behind. So that one's the. It, it was a doctor. Um, anyway. Yeah, I can never remember the name. So sorry, yeah. <laughs> But we, again, we got a couple stickers. They had bundles, so you can show them. We got a bundle deal with them. So we got all of these th items, which was three stickers, mm -hmm. a print, a keychain, and some cards that we're going to show you. And the bundle was $50. Oh, that's cool. A little boom. Yeah. And yeah. then the same print and a sticker. And the cards feel really nice, but you can see they actually each were drawn, which I thought it was really cool. Um, this is what led me over to their booth in the first place. I love card decks. I actually keep a deck of cards in my bag because you just never know if like exactly at cons when you're in waiting areas, that's a fun thing to be able to pull out and play with your friends. But each of these designs is different. So you have Jack, the Fear Lantern, Little, Little Boo. Boo. Which was the trend chance, right? Yep. Dr. Oddfellow. Uh, that's that. That's what is that called? Where they they sit you? The stuff. usher. Yes, there you go. The usher. Yeah. The director. I see your face. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think. Lady Luck, right? I there, think literally there. every single yeah. one of these cards is different. Yep. Which is so fun. Oh, oh, oh they have Patricia. <gasps> Patricia. I need to tag the Patricia itself, which I thought was really nice. I love the cards. Uh, Major Sweets. Which was my, one of my favorite scare zones. Sorry, um, I'm not trying to. To cover everybody's it was, what, two face. years ago? I think it was two years ago. Yeah, when Adam was here. Uh, I'm just showing you the ones I like. <laughs> I love the um, the Tower of Pumpkins. And then, that's, so that's it. The face cards are all the different characters, and then the number cards are traditional deck of cards. Which I love. And then this is the last thing I got. It okay, well, there's Arnold. The, the Blood Slayer, so you can talk about that, Kate. Oh, yeah. Um, so... My mom's maiden name is Slayer. So when this scare zone was announced last year, the Vamp 69, yeah, Vamp right? 69, yeah. um, and the Blood Slayers, we took a ton of cool photos. I have a garbage bag over here, honey. We took a ton of cool photos um, by that car, and it's really cool just because that is my mom's maiden name. Yeah. And um, then this is their shop, yeah. which you can check. I encourage you to do so to have unique stuff. Um, and there's Arnold's nose. Either, you know, there were houses, there were icons, or they were just uh, part of the HHN. Um, okay. This is the guide, so I figured I'd show. Some of the major people that were there. Um, um, and it has, yeah, I mean, literally all of the celebrities that nice were there. Nice little freebie. And then it has the times for the Q and A's, the panels, the, the meet and greets, all that kind of good stuff. So, Arnie, Anna? you're making this difficult, my love. Get out of here! Get out of town! All right, so next bag was the Dead Man's Wharf Pumpkin. This shop had a ton of candles. And this one specifically smells like salty sea breeze, churning mm -hmm. tides, and citrus musk. Do you like it? It smells good? Mm hmm It smells really good. It just it smells, smells really like good, yeah. water. Like clean water. I don't yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? I guess just water. Um, but I was initially attracted to that booth, as is Arnie. Is. Because you guys, look at this headband. Arnold, you're killing me. I mean stop. Right? That is really cute. I'm telling you. Um, and then this is their shop, which is Peculiar Pumpkin. And this is just a safety info card. So we can toss that. It's nice to do a haul because then I can like, you know, also put all the, oh yeah, all the stuff together. 
Carney, you're going to have to go outside, my love. You're not keeping it together, man. I did a puppy. He literally just turned a year. All right, so Abel then got this one. Overlook Hotel. He loves these tumblers, takes them to work. Put um, my coffee at Steve. Yeah. And then this one was from Hazeltown Handmade. We have a little sticker on there. Handmade. That's very nice. Oh, and it's a yeah, sterling. Was, it's a, um, a straw. Yeah, like a metal straw. That's nice. I didn't realize it was a metal straw because ones we purchased from before are plastic. No, no, no. He's so bad. I Look can't with this dog. There he is. There's the terror. <laughs> Arnold, you're something else. I can't. Okay. Only. Two more shops. I'll let you show this one, hon, while I unwrap my uh, Oh, yes, and I mug. got some nice little uh, Mickey shirt. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. spooky. Uh, it's part of the, the, what is it called? The, the Musketeers? The, Musketeers. Yeah. yeah. I that was nice. He's so I them cute. On social media. It's so large, so we'll see. But I thought the extra look was really fun. Cool. I like his um, fangs, glasses, but yeah. his little ear, his little earring as well. Yes, time to join the club. <laughs> He's so <laughs> cute. It's nice quality too, guys, which I love. Arnold's for real. You're causing serious chaos. Um, and then the very last shop we went to was Spooky Cat. We've purchased Oops. from them before. I found these stickers. I mean, look at creature. I can't. Bright and Frankie. And then Dracula and, is that supposed to be, that's not supposed to be Abigail. Dracula and Vampirina. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Oh, that is just a vampire. Right? That'd just be like funny a female if it's vampire. Vampirina, no, because she's not a Violet But I think it's couples, because it's Bride and Frankie. Yeah. But it's I, then I guess not, yeah. yeah. I think it's just couples. Okay. Um, but then I got the same print and a mug. So we have Bride and Frankie, Creature. I'm not trying to block you, and I'm just trying to, so it focuses on the cup notch face and then i that's all so cute all right and don't forget we got the oh and they gave us stickers too yeah we got stickers from them oh i'm so sorry so abel's shirt that he just showed the mouse yeah, tears check them out guys they have mugs and stuff it is house of um, deets i think they're local to the orlando area and then spooky cat info is all here You those are just other yeah, cards you grabbed that yeah. weren't. So yeah, this one is Spooky Cat. And then you can check out their stuff there. But look at the cute stickers they gave us too. Sorry. This is so difficult to like mm -hmm. have it not focus on my face. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, it's totally out of frame. There you go. And that's anyway. the, the symbol right for the... So cute. And then the last thing we got from them is, which I oh, love. Oh, yeah, our bag that I showed. It's our bag. It's very summer, very cool vibes. I like the background. It's a you know. It's so fun. And there's Iconic a spooky cat logo. Art, you know. But yeah, mummy. Or no, sorry. Sorry. That's Invisible Man. I don't know who that is. Bride. From Pirates here. There's a couple I don't know, actually. I mean, Creature's here. Frankie, Brian, who's that? Nosferatu. Right, Nosferatu. Nosferatu. It looks like Nosferatu, yeah. <laughs> oh, we love it. It was so fun. It was fun, yeah. And again, you know, you have to be, know every horror icon or whatever you're into, because we met the Twilight, you know, versus other people that go see Terrifier, if you've seen that. You know, there's so much, so much fandom of um, horror, which we like. Mm -hmm. Some well, people take it very seriously. Um, they know everything, which is fine. But when we go to con, we try just to enjoy it and then kind of support, you know, local business or, you know, from other states that come here. They have to go through the process. and mm -hmm. uh, But we've been liking meeting people as well. Yeah, I was going to say, I think what's been fun for us to, for the, to maintain the, sorry, it's been a long day, <laughs> to continue to, to go. Keep going, right? Yeah. Because I feel like, especially once you've gone to a couple, a lot of the vendor merchandise does start to look the same. So I appreciate that Spooky Empire, Spookala, 
because it's such a specific fandom, a lot of the merchandise is very different. So I'm appreciating that. Whereas I'm feeling like Megacon, Comic Con are all starting to have a lot of anime, um, which is fine. I just don't watch anime, so that's not something I'm super interested in. But what I was going to say is I also really am loving getting to go to the panels and meet the celebrities because it's always different people. Um, and so you can see very current people like Catherine Newton is current, very current. Yeah. She literally, Abigail just came out like last month. You should watch it. Um, it. And then some people with that nostalgia, right? So like the Twilight Trio, obviously those actors. Yeah, are, cool. still have been still other stuff since then. But what you know them what I know them for is Twilight. So Same. to get to see somebody that in high, I mean, we ate that up in high school. So to get to meet them is so, so cool. Um, so I like that there's such a balance of not just nostalgic people, um, but current. And like you said, then you get to like meet them as a person and have conversations with them. Yeah, like many we were of talking, them have kids. Yeah, know, I was literally going to say, like we were talking to Ashley Green about her two-year-old. Like it just is, it's so fun. Like we're all just people. Yeah. You know? Just fictional character. Yeah. Well, I hope you liked our haul. I love everything. And I think we did good. I think we did good too. I think we spent... A lot uh, of money. A lot of money, which is okay. I mean, whatever you're into fandom, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, probably spend this money at Disney for... Well, right. That's what I'm saying. Literally yeah, or universe. I mean, same thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure that you are subscribed um, if you are not already and you want to... Keep hanging out with us. Mm -hmm. See what else we do. See what else we do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.